bath buns, spice buns, penny buns, Chelsea buns, current buns, hot cross buns, all have one thing in common. They're as English as afternoon tea. And traditionally, these soft and slightly sweet cakes are served on Good Friday. My mom made really delicious hot cross buns every Easter in our home in Nutley. I had them for uh, Ash Wednesday right. and then for Good Friday. Right. And they were tender and delicious and full of currants. And I always asked mom to make put more currants in them because she was always skimping no, I, on the currants. I also used citron from time to time. That's right. Well, here's a recipe that is an adaptation, I think, of mom's original. One cup of milk, right, mother? Mm -hmm. It's been heated just till it's lukewarm. Lukewarm. If it's too hot to touch it, it's too hot for the yeast. And you're pouring in two uh, envelopes of dry yeast. And that's just the regular dry yeast, right? right? Fleischmann's. Okay. And uh, you stir to dissolve. And you need your sugar. Mm -hmm. Half cup and two teaspoons of salt. Half a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. Okay. And now the uh, melted butter. Oh, yes. That's been melted and cooled. Yep. And 12 here it tablespoons. Is. 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter. And for flavoring, uh, I used cinnamon and nutmeg. Oh, great. Three-quarter teaspoon of each will do it. Okay, there's the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So it's three-quarters of a teaspoon of grated nutmeg. Look at this beautiful nutmeg, Mother. Mm. This is so strong, I'm not gonna add a whole three-quarters because this is fresh and pungent, so we'll see how that tastes. I can tastes. smell it all the way here. Oh, yeah, it's very fragrant. To this, we add the flour. Okay, About so. Five and a half cups. And I'll beat up the okay. four eggs. Now this is a really easy dough because it's just the liquid and the, the flour. flour. Yep, really easy. Five and a half cups. How about that? And this was acceptable for Lent? Mm -hmm. Well, there's sugar in them. How did we get away with the sugar? I used to give up sugar for Lent. We gave up candy. Oh, but, candy. Uh, sugar in baked goods, uh, we, we didn't have cakes or uh, too many pies, but hot cross buns were acceptable because it's sort of a bread. And bread, you know, is the staff of life. <laughs> and <laughs> There's always the some rationalization. Uh, you know, Easter is the season of, of the resurrection and uh, of rebirth of spring, so bread had a very important part. That looks good, don't you think? Okay, so why don't we take this off and see how we're doing. Okay. And so how many currants are you adding? About a cup of them. Okay. The more the merrier, you know? You like, uh, I like fruit in my cakes and buns. Mm, looks beautiful. Take all this out, and I'll get going on kneading it. Okay, how much kneading do you think it's going to require? Well, we'll have to mix all the um, currants in first. And with the scraper, please. There you are. And it doesn't stick. Lovely. And now, this has to rise until it doubled in bulk. Mm-hmm. I like to turn this around so that the uh, top gets a little bit of butter, of on, butter it. on it, yeah, too. Good idea. Now you cover it. So we're going to let this rise for an hour and a half, but we have one already made that really did rise beautifully, mm -hmm. didn't it? Nice and spongy. So I'll turn it out on a lightly floured surface, give it a couple more. And I'm making the little egg wash, what's really an egg white wash for the tops. Just a little bit of salt water and egg white, one egg white. So now this makes 24 buns, and you can form the buns, and I'm going to brush them with egg white. And I'm rolling these between my hands. Okay. And what's nice about an egg white glaze like this is that it doesn't really add any color, but it does add a beautiful shine. Mm -hmm. And this dough is dark because of all those spices. One thing my mother is very good at is high speed, big production. I think that comes from having such a big family, don't you? <laughs> Perhaps. Oh, nice. Okay, there you okay, go. So this here, you can cover that. Cover lightly with 
plastic wrap and let these rise until they're doubled in bulk and look like this. They'll be ready to be baked. Now, we're going to cut the tops of these in a uh, cross that, who was it, Queen Elizabeth required? <laughs> And so now these go into what temperature oven? About 350, 375. Okay, for approximately 25 minutes. And here is a finished batch. Oh, they look so good and they are tender. Mm -hmm. And to make the glaze, confectioner's sugar. Right. What else? Well, we add a couple of spoons of the milk to the uh, confectioner's sugar. Just a little bit, like one. That's enough. Two. And a little lemon juice for uh, flavoring and perhaps a little rind. And we'll pipe this on. You can do it with a spoon, but it works so easily with a piping bag. Mm -hmm. And a nice little secret so everything doesn't leak out of the pastry bag is that the tip is covered with a piece of plastic wrap. Oh. See? Uh -huh. So we can now decorate our hot cross buns with beautiful crosses. Yeah, right into the cross. Mm. I always used to lick off the cross. <laughs> I think most then, kids do. And then I would eat my hot cross bun. Let's see if they're as good as I remember. Really good. It's better. <laughs>